Welcome to morning prayer on Wednesday morning. O Lord, open our lips, and our mouths shall proclaim your praise. Reveal among us the light of your presence, that we may behold your power and glory. Blessed are you, sovereign God of all, to you be praise and glory for ever. In your tender compassion, the dawn from on high is breaking upon us to dispel the lingering shadows of night. As we look for your coming among us this day, open our eyes to behold your presence and strengthen our hands to do your will, that the world may rejoice and give you praise. Blessed be God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Blessed be God for ever. The night has passed and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and for ever. Amen. Psalm 5 Give ear to my words, O Lord, consider my lamentation. Hearken to the voice of my crying, my God and my King, for to you I make my prayer. In the morning, Lord, you will hear my voice. Early in the morning I make my appeal to you and look up. For you are the God who takes no pleasure in wickedness. No evil can dwell with you. The boastful cannot stand in your sight. You hate all those that work wickedness. You destroy those who speak lies. The bloodthirsty and deceitful the Lord will abhor. But as for me, through the greatness of your mercy, I will come into your house. I will bow down towards your holy temple in awe of you. Lead me, Lord, in your righteousness because of my enemies. Make your way straight before my face. For there is no truth in their mouth. In their heart is destruction. Their throat is an open sepulchre, and they flatter with their tongue. Punish them, O God. Let them fall through their own devices. Because of them, their many transgressions, cast them out. For they have rebelled against you. But let all who take refuge in you be glad. Let them sing out their joy for ever. You will shelter them so that those who love your name may exult in you. For you, O Lord, will bless the righteous. And with your favour you will defend them as with a shield. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning is now and shall be for ever. Amen. The canticle is a song of God's herald. God will feed his flock like a shepherd and gather the lambs in his arms. Go up to a high mountain, herald of good tidings to Zion. Lift up your voice with strength, herald of good tidings to Jerusalem. Lift up your voice, fear not. Say to the cities of Judah, behold your God. See, the Lord God comes with might and his arm rules for him. Behold, his reward is with him and his recompense before him. God will feed his flock like a shepherd and gather the lambs in his arms. He will carry them in his breast and gently lead those that are with young. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning is now and shall be for ever. Amen. God will feed his flock like a shepherd and gather the lambs in his arms. Isaiah chapter 43, beginning at verse 14. Thus says the Lord, your Redeemer, the Holy One of Israel. For your sake I will send to Babylon and break down all the bars, and the shouting of the Chaldeans shall be turned into lamentation. I am the Lord, your Holy One, the Creator of Israel, your King. Thus says the Lord, who makes a way in the sea, a path in the mighty waters, who brings out chariot and horse, army and warrior, they lie down, they cannot rise. They are extinguished, quenched like a, like a wick. Do not remember the former things or consider the things of old. I'm about to do a new thing. Now it springs forth. Do you not perceive it? I will make a way in the wilderness and rivers in the desert. The wild animals will honour me, the jackals and the ostriches, for I give water in the wilderness, rivers in the desert, to give drink to my chosen people, the people whom I formed for myself, 
so that they may declare my praise. Yet you did not call upon me, O Jacob, but you have been weary of me, O Israel. You have not brought me with your sheep for burnt offerings or honoured me with your sacrifices. I have not burdened you with offerings or wearied you with frankincense. You have not brought me sweet cane with money or satisfied me with the fat of your sacrifices, but you have burned me with your sins and I have wearied you have wearied me with your iniquities. Here ends the reading. Now it is time to awake out of sleep, for the night is far spent and the day is at hand. Now is our salvation nearer than when we first believed, for the night is far spent. Let us therefore cast off the works of darkness and put on the armour of light, for the day is at hand. Put on the Lord Jesus Christ and make no provision for the flesh, for the night is far spent and the day is at hand. A Song of Redemption Christ is the image of the invisible God, the firstborn of all creation. The Father has delivered us from the dominion of darkness and transferred us to the kingdom of his beloved Son, in whom we have redemption the forgiveness of our sins. He is the image of the invisible God, the firstborn of all creation. For in him all things were created, in heaven and on earth, visible and invisible. All things were created through him and for him. He is before all things and in him all things hold together. He is the head of the body, the church. He is the beginning, the firstborn from the dead. In him all the fullness of God was pleased to dwell and through him God was pleased to reconcile all things. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. Christ is the image of the invisible God, the firstborn of all creation. And so we pray. Almighty God, we pray for the day and the tasks that are ahead of us. We pray for the news stories from around our world and in our own country today. And Lord, we pray for the work of the church in our community. Father God, we pray for all who work in the criminal justice system for the victims and the perpetrators of crime. We pray for aid agencies across the world. We pray for an honouring of human rights. And Lord, we pray today for those who live in poverty or under oppression. We pray for those whose homes are not a safe place to be. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Almighty God, give us the grace to cast away the works of darkness and to put on the armour of light, now in the time of this mortal life, in which your Son, Jesus Christ, came to us in great humility, that on the last day, when he shall come again in his glorious majesty to judge the living and the dead, we may rise to eternal life. Through him who is alive and reigns with you, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and for ever. Amen. Awaiting his coming in glory, let us pray with confidence as our Saviour has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. May the Lord, when he comes, find us watching and waiting. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. <laughs>